President Biden is in New Orleans tonight, where he announced a lot of money that will be going towards research to help beat cancer. You see him there, the president and the first lady, touring medical facilities and promoting the administration's moonshot initiative. As you know, that's aimed at reducing cancer deaths. Here's the president. They asked me whether this moonshot would work. It's one of the biggest things I found out is that there wasn't a fair, there wasn't a lot of information sharing going on. That's one of the first things we tried to do is break down the silos. NBC's Aaron Gilchrist is in New Orleans with the president. And Aaron, what does this step indicate about what the president plans to do in his final months in office? Finding a cure to cancer is a pretty popular notion. Uh, you're, you're right. It, it is something that obviously uh, cancer is something that affects a lot of people in this country in one way or another. And President Biden seemed to indicate that we will hear more announcements about this cancer moonshot initiative, about the effort to eradicate cancer in this country. Today, we heard him announce $150 million being uh, allocated and awarded to several different uh, research teams around the country with the, the goal in this particular instance of trying to come up with technology that would help to make uh, surgery outcomes for t cancer tumor removal more successful. In particular, he talked about what's being done here at Tulane University, where there's been work happening for many, many years now. Uh, there was a $23 million award for this university to work on an imaging system that effectively would allow doctors who remove a tumor to look at that tumor uh, immediately and to start to figure out whether there was any of it that was left inside the patient. So they would be able to tell within minutes whether they got it all, which is a question that so many people will ask about uh, removing tumors. Tumors. Did we get it all? I want you to hear a little bit more about what President Biden had to say about why this type of funding is so important right now. The funding we announced today will help us get these tools into the operating room to visualize tumors right away instead of having to wait for days and weeks and maybe reopen the patient to go back in. It's a promising step to reduce the need for follow-up surgeries and improve treatments. Now, President Biden and the First Lady talked about how this is something for them that is personal. Uh, obviously, we know that so many families are impacted by cancer. The Biden family was impacted back in 2015 when Bo Biden, the president's son, uh, died from a, a brain tumor. In 2016, when President Obama was still in office, uh, Vice President Biden launched this moonshot initiative. Uh, and in 2022, he and the First Lady sort of reinvigorated this initiative with the goal of trying to cut cancer cancer deaths in half uh, by 2047. And so the initiative we heard about today is just part of that effort, an infusion of millions of government dollars. And Tom, uh, we know that uh, there is research, obviously, that happens in universities and in companies all around the world all the time. The president made note of the fact, uh, and the first lady made note of the fact, that uh, there's a higher level of risk for the private sector in developing some of this technology. And so to have government money now going toward these efforts uh, makes it possible for these universities to do more of this work and to actually see some of these things come to fruition, Tom. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.